Welcome to Italy, welcome to Central Brescia. For those of you who haven't met Sasha on my channel before, this is what's up. So we're supposed to be in a classic car right now. Um, but what's happened, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, what's happened, and you know, over the years I've never uh, expected a lot of sentences to come out of my mouth, but um, the guitarist from Coldplay has stolen our car. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? So, for the next two days, Sasha and I are in uh, Giulia Quadrifoglia, which we've just got the keys to. We, we just had a short blast in it's it, and beast. it's ridiculous fun. So we're actually not complaining. It's going to be amazing. And then for the last two days... Because um, we got a manual transmission. We got that's, a manual box. We're going to introduce you to that shortly. Uh, and then for the, f the last two days, we're going to be in the Sport Spider, the 1900 Sport Spider Alfa Romeo, which is stunning. We'll share that with you soon. Um, but instead, we're starting our Millimilia. With a fresh coffee. With a fresh coffee, watching all of the entrants roll in. Uh, and actually, it's tranquility. I'm yes, loving this. I like it. We're, going, we're taking some uh, octane in our nostrils. And As we uh, we're getting warmed up for what's to come. So we're, we're going to finish our coffees, take a look around, and then we're going to hop in the quadrifolio and show you what's up at the beginning of the Milli Million. Let's hit it. of why this thing is so special. We're gonna to talk to you about this wooden stick in the back of the car. That is a fuel stick. Let me show you what's what. That is so Italian. There you go. 80? Just how it was. 80 liters. Nice. And that's it. Simple, simple as that. <laughs> Just making my way back to the Julia for the day. I think that image right there, as simple as it might seem, might just summarize what the Millimilia is all about. This is just a 300SL dumped in a field. Pretty casual car parking. That's a good start if I have the buck the right way around. Okay! <laughs> We're on the Millimilia! <laughs> so, uh, granted this is not the car that I expected to start in, but however... However, we are exquisitely happy. Um, the culture that precedes this event, we've been in the car five minutes, it's mental, okay? Really? First of all, the amount of people on the streets is... <laughs> to set some context, what just happened there was a policeman waving us on saying, go for it. I have never come across a car culture. Listen to the anything police. Anything like this. It's so good. The people lining the roads. They've given us this uh, road buck, which looks more like algebra, but I don't care. There's lots of people to follow. The, the road is full and lined with people. This is it. We've got classic cars flying past us. Like we are mixing like it up between following the road buck and also following other people. The tricky situation with following other people is they don't always know where they're going either. So I'm trying to keep my eye on this as best <laughs> as I can. And then uh, when we see a convoy of really exciting cars, we're going to duck in behind those guys and follow it because it's like the people on the Milli Milia literally and legally have a different set of road rules applying to them. It's unreal. The people that I've been speaking to who have done this over the last 10 years, every year at the end of it, they've said, that's definitely the last time that this event will happen. It's too crazy. And yet here we are, exactly. <laughs> in, the, in the middle of it. Uh, I'm actually really glad that we're in the Quadrifoglio to begin with because it's a nice car to sort of uh, learn the culture and environment. But it's still really fun, right? Because we got the manual really gearbox. And We've got the manual with the traction control off. As you've just heard, this thing is hilarious fun. And I think it's a good car to uh, induct us into the Milli Million. Exactly. mission on our hands, a fellow millimillion has lost his hat. 
So there's a guy in a classic in front of us. It looks pre-war, I have no idea what it is. Anyway, he was just adjusting his comfort within the car and his hat blew off. So we managed to catch the cap and now we're chasing him down to give his cap back. Never leave a million million without his cap. <laughs> Mission success! Yeah! We're giving the boys their hat back. Quite clearly the proudest moment of this entire rally has got to be giving the Million Million his hat back mid-flight. Did you feel this? <laughs> yeah, we felt no, it! Up. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> following a police escort and he's taken us the wrong direction so it'll be interesting to see how he makes up for that I'm hoping he uses his uh, powers of parting the traffic to allow us to go back because I'm not sure if you can see all these uh, cars over my shoulder but that's a traffic jam as a result of the Milla Milia route being closed off for us to go through frictionlessly Okay, let me just give you some context to some of the people who are doing it in classic cars. Look, these guys, these guys here, their shoulders are touching. That is how tight and close you've got to be with your co-driver for a thousand miles. That's what. That's, that's how, how it feels. Like this. That's how it feels. Shoulder to shoulder, bro. <laughs> I hope you put your deodorant on. <laughs> press the button, press the button. This section here, so where those guys just stopped, at every checkpoint, the people who are actually in the Millimilia itself, they go through a stamping stage. So they get their book stamped to make sure that they've gone through the checkpoints. We're a support car today, so we don't need to do it. And we can fly through and enjoy the scenery. But that's what I'm gonna be doing when I'm jumping in the uh, 1900 Sports Spider in a couple of days time. It's a good warm up actually. So here's how I think the content is going to plan out on this trip. It's way more hectic than I ever imagined. And as much as I love bringing you beautiful productions, I'm going to try my very best to make it as polished as I can. Bearing in mind we're starting at 6.30 in the morning and finishing at 12 at night for four days in a row, covering a thousand miles, okay? The likelihood of me being able to film and edit this to get it uploaded and live to you the following day is probably quite slim. Unless I do it, run and gun, point and shoot, just on the handheld and try and bring you as I glossy a content as I can. Oh, you did, yeah, it's the essence of Millie Millie, you know, it's like you'll be more passionate. Listen to this guy, essence of Millie Millie, I love it, man. It's just like I these cars, it. it's about emotion, it's not the about polish. Distillation yeah. of the Millie Millie's purity and laziness. Right, let's hit it. <laughs> Modern stuff! <laughs> Modern supercars! We found you guys! Oh, look at this 812 super fast and another 812 super fast. Honestly, I've been looking at classic cars all day and while they are beautiful, I'm there's something happy. about there's something about a modern day supercar which absolutely resonates with my smile glands. Look at it! <laughs> Day one. Yeah. How's your day one been? Really way more intense than I thought. It also looks like we've arrived in Miami or something. Look at this place. I don't, I, do you know what? We've been traveled through so many towns, like unnecessarily. Yeah. Minamelia diverts you through every town, so every population and, the, and village the, can the check out. This is the Italian looking one. This is the least Italian looking town we've been to all day. Uh, and I've, I've lost track of where we are. I literally, I have no idea where we are. I just know I'm on the coast in Italian Miami. <laughs> what a crazy day.
But seriously, what a crazy day. Now then, before I go on, we've identified something as to where we went wrong today. Now hear me out. As you've probably seen, it turns out that we've been in a pack of pre-war cars for the entire day. The reason for that is we just left too early. We left a good two hours before the post-war cars even left the start line today, which is why we've been amongst the pack of the really, really early stuff that I'll put my hands up. I have no idea what any of that stuff is. So as beautiful as they are to be around, I look at them and I'm like, I have no context as to how cool or not that car is. Anyway, um, the adventure's just beginning. It's been an absolutely fantastic first day, super intense, quite confusing. Um, and when I say that this event is spread over the entirety of Italy, it's a thousand mile loop from Brescia down to Rome, back up to Brescia again. Every single road, town and city along that route has the population of that area out on the streets cheering and waving you on. It's unlike anything I've ever experienced. So, so far, thank you Alfa Romeo and thank you Italy for a wonderful induction into this incredible event. Now it's 1am, I still have to edit the video you're watching right now and I gotta be up. It's 6.30 to do it all over again. As always guys, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.